Ah, hello everyone, no respawns here. Hope you're having a grand weekend. So, I thought in this video I wanted to do a Wii review of the Military Clutter mod by Toys Out of the Pram. Now, this is the mod dev who has been quite prolific recently and kind of, I think, coming into their own in terms of these kind of themed decoration packs, which are really, really good. Um, also, one good thing is they've now basically the mods when they get updated or when they're released are on all platforms. So in the link in the description will be the Xbox One, PS4 and PC version of the mod. As well as I'm going to link Toys Out's Twitter uh, because they tend to post updates on what they're doing and you get to kind of see kind of pre-release images. Plus that way you can kind of catch them a bit easier. Also they only have like 51 followers right, right now which is shameful. So get that number up, yeah. Um, so basically it's in the... It's outside USO integrated, and it's in the furniture. By the way, I'm at the mechanist area just because I need to do something with this, and I'm just kind of thought just being here would kind of jog my many memory while I'm jog my brain meets while I'm uh, doing this video because I do want to do something with this, and mods like this will be kind of what I use anyway. So basically, it's in the mist tab. I've disabled all of my mods other than the fact the Creation Club stuff. So this is Creation Club from Eleonora's mod. Um, Creation Club thing mod, whatever. Anyway, uh, so basically this uh, goes through it. It's basically military themed clutter. So we'll just go through. So you've got some marrow crates which just have different names. Uh, storage containers added by military clutter. Um, but then you start getting funky shelves. So these are rather sensual. Are they not? Are they not? Ooh. So just stuff like this is just so fantastic because basically those of you who kind of on PS4 know how hard it is to decorate something look like that and even on PC it's hard just kind of thinking where to place everything if you get my meaning whereas this is it's just kind of stuff you can just place down and it looks really really good then we've got um, a map for so table clutter which look quite nice we always like the bits of table clutter loads of mini nukes so one thing this mod has which is quite good is very well positioned. So basically, if you use OC Decorator, some of the items you place down sink a little bit. They don't place correctly. Whereas this is table-friendly clutter, shall we say. So, so these are the, the nerves. Nerve fat men. And then you've got the suicider fat man. And then the actual... I probably want to place all of these down, by the way, because my build limit will go up. But then you've actually got the Liberty Prime fat man in a storage container. Then you've got these, which I think are the pride and joy of this mod, which are these gun racks, which are absolutely awesome. Let's bring it into the light a little bit. Maybe, maybe this settlement was a poor choice by dead of the fact that it's a bit dark here, but it also looks cool, yeah? Uh, so basically you've got various ones. You've got ones with uh, laser rifles, and then ones with more mix bag, baby. Let's move you over there so I can see. Everyone's seen you now, it's fine. So you can see, so you've got the cryolator, assault rifle, and pun me two, is that two combat shotguns? Yeah, it's two combat shotguns. And then this one has the submachine gun, Tommy gun style, and also automatic assault machine guns, which is quite cool, with splitter heads, which is quite cool. So that thing's going to make a bit of a mess. And then you've got this right cool flamer one. I saw this one earlier, which I like this one. I also like the, the mini detail ones if I turn it around. Where's he actually just put caution flame? <laughs> I, you know, the flame is a weapon that I just don't use enough in the game, and it really bothers me I should. So now they've also got these weapon racks here. Um, let me quickly show you, because basically Toys Out actually posted a wee video basically explaining how to how to use everything. So I'm just going to pop a, pop a wall so I can show you. So basically the way these work is you need to put your gun rack down first. So basically they kind of go over, actually need to figure out where they are. Oh, and what little menu lag there, dear? Give it a sec, give it a sec, it's fine. Fun fact, this game actually crashed on me earlier. Bloody ridiculous. Now, where? Uh, the menus are loading, sorry about this. <laughs> oh, give it, give it, give it 20 minutes, yeah. Come on, menu, load up. Come on, load up. Anyway, let's just... Wait 20 fucking minutes. Will you load up so I can see the menu, dear? Anyway. Remember correctly, I think there. What's that? I can't exactly remember where they put the... Where has Andrew CX given me and has placed 
the weapon stands? Are they in furniture? Let's have a look. Display! There it is! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! That is an acceptable time. <laughs> anyway, so incidentally, if you were wondering where these were, you were so integrated furniture display weapon racks. Okay, anyway. So let's just pop a weapon rack here. Pop that like that. You can see it. It's a bit dark. Let me just maybe move you a little bit more into the light. Into the light! And we'll move you out of the way. And you can bugger off as well. So we've got my wee weapon rack. Now we can go over to furniture. God, the menu's so laggy in it. So many mods. That is the sound. Did you hear that in the background? That sound is my poster falling off the wall. So basically, as you can see, you basically place the weapon racks over the Bethesda weapon racks. The reason being is I imagine, you see, it doesn't actually place properly. My, my guess was either it was gonna not let you place them in or it was gonna do this where it's gonna kind of funny angle them So you can po you can possibly place them inside But it might be easier to kind of place them after the fact so you can kind of you know have a bit more Control over where things go. So that's these weapon wrecks. Let me just show you. You've got different styles as well Fucking posters falling down ridiculous bloody ridiculous Also, I got a load of sound tiles and they keep falling down in my room recently <laughs> Just closed one. I'm gonna check if you can open these. I don't know if you can I think that's just more for an aesthetic, you know? Uh, pistol cabinets. Pistol cabinet closed. And then they've got these gun racks which just go on the floor, which will just kind of give you a bit more flexibility on how you place them. Closed. And a nice new locker. Always give me more lockers. Love lockers. Lockers full of stuff. Make me happy. This one's got... What, a wee plasma pistol? What's that? Is that like the steam part of the... That's part, that's part of a, um, a mini nuke. Scopes and stuff like that, which is very cool. Ah, speaking of which, so one thing again, alongside these kind of mini nukes here and all those bits and pieces, there are quite a lot of just kind of mini decoration bits. So um, that's the technical phrase of learning it. So basically lots of magazines, shotgun mags. And again, these are placed better. So these actually look better than probably how they would be placed in say OC Decorator, which is very, very good. Ammo pouch. Also only uses one steel, which is great. So, you know, this doesn't actually use your ammo. Military clutter with scopes, I quite like. I also really like these little, um, kind of desk holder things. They're very nice. More boxes of stuff. We love boxes of stuff, people. More boxes of stuff. Box of bits. He's actually themed as well. So that's box of stocks. That's box of receivers. That's actually quite cool. And then loads of cryo mines as well, which I quite like. Always find mines or grenades don't get the decoration love they deserve. Which is a shame because on my survival game, I'm actually currently using them a lot. Because I just never used them very much. Especially mines. Bottle cap mines. And then scopes as well. So you've got these kind of free scopes, which I quite like because it's quite a, a piece of decoration that wouldn't occur to me that I actually wanted on my desks. And now I do. You know, just kind of. And it has all of them as well. It's quite grand. And then flame of fuel. Which is going to get specifically some love in any of my chem creation areas. Because as you know, Flame of Fuel is used to make a rather potent form of jet. Uh, the standalone standard explosive, which is annoying that you can't actually use in the game. Like, why didn't Bethesda add that? God damn it. A 44. A upgraded pistol. Some ammo crates. In fact, my build limit's fine on this one, which is good. A bomb disposal crate. This looks quite cool. I saw this one. So it's got bomb disposal bits. Bottle cap mine crate. Same thing. Cryo grenades. Getting stuck. Cryo grenades. Quite nice. Uh, cryo grenade stack. That's actually quite good. Cryo mines. You know, cryo stuff I never use very much. I need to use cryo stuff more. So in my survival game, I'm deliberately making it so I'm forcing myself to use weapons that I never used before. Like, off stuff, you know. Like like the cryo layer, I never used it at all. Um, that's actually quite cool. A fat man crate. Military crate, so those crates are just kind of military stuffs on the side. Let me just get those, so you can see. So again, flame of fuel. So much stuff in this mod, as you can see. For just like, kind of quickly setting up, I like the food crate as well. Um, for setting up Kind of like a nice little military area. This is just wonderful. 
food crates. There's so many. You get my point with these crates, yeah? <laughs> it's quite a few! Alright, Toys Out, calm down, yeah, man. All right. Stop showing off with your crates. Let's just quickly place all the crates down. So basically, crates for every single thing on the planet. Fusion cores. Bloody hell, there are a lot more crates than I thought. Hallucinogen canister caves. Basically, right, you like crates, yeah? Did you love crates? Yeah, download the crate mod. It's, I'm changing its name now. It's not Weapon Clutter, it's crates. Ah, some light over here. Okay, there we go, because I can see. Medical crates. Ooh. So he's really gone for this theming, hasn't he? Oh, you kinky little minx, you. Oh, um, actually, one second, one second, just now. Give, give me, give me like a moment, yeah, because it's really bloody dark in here. Because some asshole decided that they thought they would, you know, um, like, not have any decent. God damn it. Will you just, will you just, will you just, there we go, thank you, dear. Um, <laughs> somebody thought that choosing an incredibly dark settlement was a good idea. What, what a dick, yeah? What, what a knobhead. Molotov crates, nuke mine crates, nuke mine closed, stacks. So basically, there seems to be a singular and a. There's so many fucking crates, Jesus Christ. And there's a couple of more themed crates as well. How many's he got? That's just. Sorry, I'm just gonna kind of maybe scoop through these. There's a lot more than I was expecting. <laughs> um, I had to skip through the mod. I just didn't realise at the end of it he had like every single crate for every single thing. Oh, there we go. We're at the end of the crates. Let's finish. Baseball grenade crates. Baseball. So basically, oh yeah, and then right at the end there is this quite funky security cage. So basically, is that everything? That is everything. Right, so basically you've got every crate of every single item in the game, which is awesome. So if you're looking for a military themed area, this will this will help you out, yeah? Let's, um, let's actually exit the menu now. I'm just turn my thing. So we've got basically got loads of different kinds of crates. I especially these big ones quite a bit because they're just, well, they look grand. And then you've got loads of decoration. You've got loads of... So basically, this is kind of fulfilling that military-themed niche that you've wanted for ages. Well, I sincerely hope you've wanted, because you're getting loads of stuff. <laughs> so yeah, definitely an awesome mod. As I said, this is on PS4, Xbox, and PC. Links in the description, as well as links to Toys Out's Twitter. Definitely give them a follow. As always, follow me on Twitter at NoResponse. There, there is a point to this military clutter mod and why I'm reviewing it now. In fact, the next video will be slightly military themed. Uh, so I wanted some military decoration, uh, which is... I can't decide whether I thought of that first or this mod gave me the idea of it. Let's be utterly frank, it was probably the, this mod giving me the idea. Um, so that'll be uh, soon-ish. I'm also going to be doing another Frostpunk vid, so I'm going to be doing a hard mode guide to this instance, because I've been I've completed the game now on hard mode quite efficiently. An efficient hard mode finish, and which I think merits now a guide on how to actually not die. Um, but until that point, you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at NoRespawns, and I'll talk to you lovely people soon. You take care.